Attention of blindness occurs when we fail to see an expected stimuli that happened in front of us if our attention is diverted to a different task. We will show you two different experiments in which we evaluated depth cues into different change detection tasks. We use a new display technology known as the multilayer display, or MLD, which comprises two distinct layers of LCD panels sharing a common backlight source. These LCDs are separated by a 14 mm purpose layer. This structure allows the MLD to provide a real depth effect and, as you can see, the cross and the circle presented here are spatially separated in two different layers. The first experiment that we are going to see is based on a phenomenon known as inattentional blindness. Inattentional blindness occurs when we fail to see an unexpected stimuli that happens in our field of view if our attention is diverted to a different task. For this experiment, participants were presented with eight circles, four of them were red and four blue. They were instructed to do a mental count of the number of times the blue or the red circles hit the black bar. The unexpected event they had to detect was a black cross that appeared 15 seconds into the third trial and during the fourth. They had only five trials and participated only in one of the eight conditions. Depending on the condition, the cross was presented either at the center or at the top of the display and it could be located either in the back or in the front layer. Results showed that the detection of the cross increased three times when it was presented in the front layer and within 20 degrees of visual angle from the focus of attention compared to any further eccentricity. Thank you for listening. The experiment we are about to see is based on a phenomenon known as change blindness. It occurs when we fail to see changes that happen in our field of view during a visual disruption. However, these changes seem to be very obvious to someone who knows that the change is going to happen. So, we decided to investigate if the depth cue of the MLD can help to increase change detection rates. A 10 times 8 digit matrix and a black fixation cross were presented in the rear layer of the MLD. At random intervals, a digit will change its value. Say, for example, a 9 will change into a 4 or a 1 into a 6. Participants were instructed to click on the digit that changed. The change was highlighted by a color transient in which the changing digit will turn red and then go back to blue, or by a depth transient in which the digit will pop up to the front layer and then pop back. We manipulated the duration of the transients to 250, 350 or 450 milliseconds. We found a trade-off between speed and accuracy. While the color transient provoked very fast detection times, the tape transient provoked the most accurate place, especially when the changes were presented in the parafoil region. Therefore, we suggest that for high-density populated visual interfaces, when color and flashing are no longer appropriate, then depth is a very good alternative, especially when you require higher accuracy. Thank you for listening.